Hello guys and welcome back to Footsteps and Tire Tracks. Are you really fed up with the sound on your VW T5? Well, today we're going to upgrade the door speakers and we're going to add tweeters into the dash. We're Mark and V and this is our adventures. This is a really easy job, if not a little bit time consuming. So we should take you through the steps and show you how to do it. Right, so um, this is the box from Vibe. I've uh, not opened it up yet. Um, well, I said I've not opened it up. I've opened the box, but I've not taken it out. So let's have a look and see what we've got here. Um, got the speaker mounts for the doors, just those speaker baffles. Speaker baffles for the doors. A little tiny bit of soundproofing. Um, we've got plenty more on a reel, so we won't worry too much there. Got some instructions. Got some instructions there. Some connectors, some wiring, and then some crimpers. Tweeter pods, you know, the little um, plastic mounts from the go into the actual dash. And the speakers. And then there, there we have the Vibe OptiSound 6C speaker and tweeter. Now put the um, tweeter, the first tweeter in. You can see it's mounted there on its little plate. It comes down through, cable in, goes down under, and ends up here. Same over there. Now, if I come around to the front of the window, you can definitely see it far better there. And you can see it's held in by a clip at that corner and two screws at the back. Now I always keep hold of any old screws and bits and pieces when I dismantle cars and vans and that. And that was actually VW screws that I had from another car. It was from a Mark IV Golf, but um, I got a box of them and they fit lovely. They're little, little self-tappers. So um, I've got a couple of them on either side. So that makes it even better. It fits nice. Nicely, I'll show you one of those screws when we go back in, just in case you're looking for the same type of screw. And there you are, hopefully you can see that in my hand. It is literally just a self-tapper. But like I say, I had some in the van. And to actually do these screws up, I've had to use one of these type of screwdrivers, you know, these little short angled ones. It's quite tight to get in there. So that's one side, and we'll carry on over the other side. And there we are, that's the uh, other tweeter reinstalled. So I'm just gonna put the cover back in and uh, you can see you've got three lugs and they just fit in the recesses there you can see three recesses there and you've got two pegs that go in there and there so it all lines up quite nicely so there we are at the back in or the front and then it just pops down and there we are that's that installed, so we have the tweeters in place. All we need to do now is wire them back into the head unit. The head unit here, we've wired the tweeters in, and obviously you've got to be very, very careful with tweeters. But you can see on the, the white and the gray are the left and right, and the white, the solid white and the solid gray are the positive, the grey and black and the white and black are the negatives. So as long as you're aware of that, that's quite simple. Now they supply two of these lovely T cutter, T connectors, um, when I needed four. So I've had to use scotch locks on the other two, which is a shame because they're really nice. They're lovely, I like them. I don't know what they're called. If anybody does know what they're called, please tell me down below and um, I think I'm going to get some for my toolkit because they are lovely. So much nicer than Scotch locks. Anyway, so that's that. Um, the next stage is to upgrade the door speakers, but I think we might connect the battery next 
just so you can hear what the sound is like. So this is the sound. I've not put the tweeters in at the moment, but the door speakers are the same. We're using a track called High Tech by Rocket Junior off Epidemic Sound. Um, Okay, so we're now going to remove the door, to, um, the door panel to actually install the new speakers. So the first one we're going to do is remove that trim, and then there's six T25 torque screws to be um, undone. So let's get on with it. me putting I'm not putting very much sound proofing in sound deadening in and um, because you don't need a lot we proved that when we did the crafter previously so I'm just putting some scraps in all I will put a little tiny bit more in there but hopefully you can hear the difference listen now we'll come over the other side that has not been done yet and listen to this So hopefully you can hear there's quite a difference there. Now I'm not going to do absolutely loads, but I'm going to do, you know, it's weight as well. If remember that when you're doing these things, it's all adding weight to the van. But I want the doors to be fairly set. There's quite a lot of noise that comes up from the cab in this van. So at some stage I will be doing the floor as well. But um, for the minute we'll do the doors and hopefully that's going to make a, a difference. And we'll just finish a little bit more off, get the speakers in, and then we'll move on to the next door. Okay, so we're um, now fixing the new bracket to the door. And just so it helps you, that five mil pot rivets. Um, I thought I was gonna be able to get away with four mil, but um, unfortunately it didn't work. So we're just gonna put some five mils in. Obviously you don't wanna see me do it all, but literally we've all pot riveted before and if you haven't literally just do it nice and controlled we've got one two three four five each side the bracket in. Okay so the next step is to put this diffuser against the door. Stick that to the door that's self-adhesive. So we're going to do that. Um, 
and then it's fit this rubber grommet and it's fit the speaker. So let's get on that. So the wiring has to go back in, come through the back of the speaker. So I'm going to put a hole through the bottom of this grommet here. Now to feed the wires back through there. Probably just tie wrapping somewhere just to save it wrapping around. So there you are, that's the door all back together. Well, the second speaker's all in place. That's what it looks like behind the door. We've got a little bit of soundproofing again on there, and then there's a little bit in behind as well, which I haven't shown you. Now, when you take a door off, sometimes this happens. You can see the connectors where the door holders have come off. So, and it's a pain. It really is difficult to get off. So you want one of these tools. It's called a trim tool. And I'll put a link down below if you ain't got one. Now the next thing you need to do is put something there to protect the door. So we're gonna put the camera over there and now we're gonna just use something to protect the door a bit. Slide them in and hopefully, there he is. He pulls out. They're really, really tight on this one. That's the tightest I've noticed for a long time. And now we've got a few more over there. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that very easily, but we'll put a camera like that. And hopefully you can see how I'm doing it. So trim tool in. Put tight some of them. He pops out. They're tight, you can understand why the door didn't come away, away with them. I think we'll put a little tiny bit of Vaseline on these before we uh, put them back in, just so they slide in a little tiny bit easier. It's just normal Vaseline. So we tried the speakers out originally with just the tweeters connected. Now both speakers are fully installed and this is the sound. I'm going to go back to the original sound as well while I'm playing this so you can hear the difference. Now there's no subwoofer or anything in this van. It is literally two door speakers and two tweeters. And um, that's Vibe equipment. 
and um, you can get them on eBay. I've, um, that's where I bought them. I bought them on eBay. Um, that's amazing, isn't it? I think it sounds brilliant. I'm going to try and find a different track. Just bear with me. I'm, it's going to have to be on Epidemic Sound again, but I'll find something else to just give it a sort of different flavour. <laughs> Well, there you go. What do you think? I think that sounds absolutely brilliant. I mean, the sound comparison to what it was a little while earlier on, um, the sound was terrible. I'm really happy with that. And that's playing on my phone, using Epidemic Sound, obviously, using wireless Apple CarPlay that I put in as well. Really, really pleased. And that's a ChemWord unit. That's the head unit there. No amplifiers involved. That's just head unit and speakers. Well, I don't know what you think, but I thought that was really easy, a bit time consuming, but really straightforward to do. And such an improvement, honestly, brilliant. Anyway, um, that takes us to the end of this video. And if um, you'd like to see more, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you enjoyed this, please give it a like. And we'll hopefully see you in the next video. Look after yourselves, guys. See you later. Bye.